الحمدللہ ابد الفلاق والاربین وصلاۃ والسلام علی من كان نبيا وآدم بين الماء والطين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لعمرك إنهم لفي سكرتهم يعمهون آمنت بالله صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاكرين والشاهدين والحمد لله رب العالمين ببركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما درشيف الله مصنع على سيدنا ونبينا وشفينا ومولانا محمد مدن عبدك ورسولك ونبيك وصلي على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات Each and every one of you join in الصلاه والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى اهلك واصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله الصلاه والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا رحمة للعالمين وما تايم كوي زبان خموشنا رحي الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا خاتم النبيين رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا اللہ رب محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نحن عباد محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس گلی کا گداہ میں جس میں مانگتے تاجدار پھرتے ہیں جو تیرے در سے یار پھرتے ہیں در بدر یو اخوار پھرتے ہیں اور انہیں جانا انہیں مانا نہ رکھا غیر سے کام للہ الحمد میں دنیا سے مسلمان گیا بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آفٹر پریزنگ اللہ المائٹی جل وعلا مالک کائنات خالق کل رب السماوات والارب and sending infinite peace and salutations درود and صدوات upon the best of creation the light of humanity the purpose of our existence سید الاولین والآخرین امام الانبیاء والمرسلین حضور جان جانا تاجدار مدینہ نور سینا لجبا نبی کریم رسول خاتم النبیین رحمت للعالمین شفیع المذنبین وجہ تخریق کائنات سبحان اللہ دو آئی ڈونٹ انڈرسٹان ڈوچ لیکن لو is a universal language اور خاص طور لو فر رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حضرت علامہ علی صاحب مدد اللہ العلی منشن اے شعر آف سیدی آلہ حضرت عظیم و برکت مجدد دین و ملت پروان عشق و محبت امام احمد رضا خان علیہ رحمت و ربوان which I normally mention at this point as well وَجْهُ تَخْلِيقِ كَائِنَاتِ تو وہ جو نہ تھے تو کچھ نہ تھا وہ جو نہ ہو تو کچھ نہ ہو جان ہے وہ جہان کی جان ہے تو جہان ہے آمین کلال لجپال نبی کریم رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم most honorable and respectable ائمہ حضرات وارثین آف دی انبیاء دی کراؤنز اپن آور ہیڈز دی علماء آف دی اہل سنت والجماع بالخصوص دی امام اور خطیم مسجد حاضا آنربل اور ریسپیکٹبل ایلڈرز برادرز ان اسلام لوبل ینگسٹرز دوز وہ موجود ہیں پریزن ات دیس مومن ان ٹائم ہیا ان مسجد تقوی اور دوز وہ واشنگ لائیو ان سوشل میڈیا تو ایچ اور ایوری ون آف یو 
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ملم یشکر الناس لم یشکر اللہ اے جز اف دا کل روایت مینشن ان دا مسند اف امام احمد بن حنبل امنگست مینی ادا کتب احادیث مبارکہ راوی سیدنا نعمان ابن بشیر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ صحابی رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم And for those of you who don't know, Hazrat Nu'man ibn Bashir radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was the first child to be born amongst the Ansar after the Hijra, the migration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. And Hijra, migration from Makkah to Al-Mukarrama to Al-Madina to Al-Munawwara. He was the first child to be born amongst the Ansar. The helpers of Medina. Can anyone tell me, those who are sat here, mawjood and present, that who was the first child to be born after the Hijra to al Madina to Al-Munawwara from amongst the Muhajirun? G. Anyone. Acha, usually at this time, at this point, in the UK, I'm the only Molvi. Who actually gives money to the public. <laughs> Anyone who gets the question right will get, uh, I don't know if uh, pound sterlings are of any value or worth here in the Netherlands. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Well, very quickly, Imam Saab says yes, yes. Huh? So anyone who gets the question right gets 20 pounds. Till today, 15 years in this field, only two people have got the question right. In the entire United Kingdom. This is our state. What is the name of the first child to be born amongst the Muhajirun after the Hijra, the migration of Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Makkah to Al-Mukarrama to Al-Madinah to Al-Munawra? So it means I saved my 20 pound. <laughs> uh, first child was who from amongst the muhajirun to be born after the hijra sayyiduna abdullah ibn zubair radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma uh, if you're going to repeat after me then you will remember the arabs say al ilmu bit takrar knowledge is retained by way of repetition uh, when a child has intention to become a Hafiz of the Qur'an, one of the best ways to remember the verses of the Qur'an, the Kalam of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala is to do takrar. Uh, students of knowledge, ulama Kiram will know that when we learn the gardans of ilm sarf one of the best ways to retain uh, ratta, uh, takrar. So we need this amongst the public as well, not just takrar repetition when Nathwan recites certain kalam. But when ulama give you pearls of knowledge, tawajjuhana. So the first child to be born amongst the Ansar after the Hijra, Sayyiduna Nu'man ibn Bashir radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. And the first child to be born amongst the Muhajirun after the Hijra was who? Abdullah ibn Zubair رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہما حضرت Zubair ibn Abbaam رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہو کا لخت جگر and حضرت Zubair ibn Abbaam رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہو who is from amongst the عشرہ مبشرہ his nikah was with the eldest daughter of افضل البشر بعد الانبیاء بالتحقیق یار غار یار مزار سیدنا و مولانا و خیرنا ابو بکر صدیق رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ Her name was Asma bint Siddiq یعنی سیدہ عائشہ ام المؤمنین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ has elder sister She was in nikah with حضرت زبیر بن عبام رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ توجہ ہے نا They had a son عبداللہ بن زبیر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہم and he was the first child to be born amongst the muhajirun muhajirun were those who migrated from Makkah to Al-Mukarramah to 
Al Madina Tul Manawra. Allah Almighty does tazkira of the Muhajirun and the Ansar in Surah Tu Tauba. Verse number 100. As Sabiqun al Awaluna min al Muhajirin wal Ansar ila akhir. Ye asal bayani ye tamheed hai. Or batore tamheed by way of introduction, I mention a part of the larger narration. The words of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are what? Man lam yashkurin nasa lam yashkurillah. اس کا ترجمہ جس کا مفہوم یہ ہے that individual who is not grateful to the people will never be able to express gratitude to the creator so with these words of the best of creation at the forefront of my mind from the outset I want to take this opportunity to thank my dear elder brother محترم شہید بشارت صاحب for inviting me for the very first time to the Netherlands. And this evening is the first program of this four-day tour. And I'm grateful for the efforts reaching out to the Masajid, or bil khusus this Masjid, Hazrat Alama Sahib Qibla's Qiyadat, or De Negrani, Sadr Sahib, I think, who is busy arranging food. I don't think I can see him. Uh, then again, this light is very bright. Uh, he is somewhere. Uh, so I am grateful to everyone. لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ No doubt when you are grateful to Allah Almighty Jalla wa ala, Allah Almighty will increase His favors and bounties upon you. Hmm? And we have a lot to be grateful for. Hmm? If you were to just look at our jism, our own body. English is okay? Yes? My Urdu is uh, bas 50-50 because we are from Meerpur Azad Kashmir. So, Patwari, Teri Meri, uh, Urdu bas uh, Komsi Komsa. Yes? So, I will try. Uh, I am not uh, fluent in Urdu. I certainly am not fluent in Dutch. But again, while sat there, I was, mashallah, mesmerized by the words and the Mukhtasar Jami wa Mani Bayan. Uh, they... Uh, Yani bayan mukhtasaran can be summarized through the shair's uh, poetry. He says, Iman mila unke sadke. Subhanallah. Iman mila unke sadke. Maza nahi I've traveled all the way from Bradford. I left after Fajr this morning. Uh, and the flight was so short that these uh, mini cheddars that they gave me on the flight, I didn't even have time to eat them. <laughs> That's how short the flight was. Imam Sahib, you just go up and you just come down. This is the flight to Holland. Yaqeenan, huh? uh, I have experienced this now today, of course, first hand. So if you give uh, yani, some energy and vibe to me, then inshallah this will give me the energy to deliver as well. Iman mila. Those who are sat at the back. Huh? It might be the case you don't understand what I'm saying. Don't worry, I will translate for you in a language which is more... Uh, easier for you to relate with, that you are more accustomed with. Lekin, zok ko shok ke liye, kiyo bazurg bhi hai, ulama ikram bhi hai. Iman mila, unke sadke. Islam mila, unke sadke. Quran mila, khud rahman mila. Wo kya hai jo hume paaya nahi. What is it that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallama hasn't given you and me? And there is no doubt. The kaun deta hai dene ko? Moo chahiye. Dene wala hai satcha. If this is your iman and aqeeda, then we have to say it. We have to say it, inshallah. Dene wala hai satcha. Dene wala hai satcha. Whatever we have, no doubt, we have through the barakat and the khairat and the fezan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, right? And this is exactly what we're alluding to. Just look at your body, look at your own jism. Which one of the favors of Allah Almighty will you deny? Allah Almighty has given us eyes to see with. Say Alhamdulillah. Allah Almighty has given us ears to hear with. Say Allah shukr karo yaar. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Adameen. All praise is for Allah Almighty Jalla wa ala. Lord of all of the worlds. Uh, Lord of all of the worlds. Uh, including everything. 
ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੇਟੇ ਵਟ ਪੈਣਾ ਨਾ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਸਲਮ ਟੂ ਮਚ ਰਿਐਲਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਦੈਟ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਦਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਰਡ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸਟਡੀ ਦਾ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਦੀਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦਾ ਨਾਓ ਦੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਸਲਮ ਇਨ ਰਿਐਲਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਸੁਬਾਨਅੱਲਾਹ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਸਮਝੋ ਪੂਰਾ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਦਾ ਨਚੋਰ ਹੈ Huh? not just the praise of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which in reality is the praise of allah but the remembrance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the remembrance of allah subhanallah ye mere paas kitab hai ashifa bi ta'rifi huquq al mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam aur baqaida ha this book i take with me everywhere without fail ha mere baba ji alama khadim husain rizwi rahmatullah taala alay amirul mujahideen would say what that this is the first book to be written on the namus e risalat of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhanallah musannif qadi iyaz left this dunya in the year 544 after hijra allah yani exactly 900 years ago and is one of the seven great saints resting in marrakesh subhanallah morocco subhanallah yes shahid bhai was giving me a history lesson earlier on some of the people now who have come to the netherlands to who have come to the uh, for to the holland or to holland should i say uh, they come some of them from morocco as well so these are your buzurg these are your elders or isi kitab mein uh, they mention what the ala bi zikrillahi tatma'innul qulub mashhoor ayat hai na surah al ra'd mein allah almighty jalla wa ala malik e kainat khaliq e kul says what that verily in the remembrance of allah hearts find peace and tranquility itminanul qalb everyone's looking for this uh, inner peace and tranquility and uh, this satisfaction in life though you won't find this satisfaction in mal and dawlat you won't find this contentment of the heart uh, in properties and jadat uh, and marabb and land uh, rather quran says what you'll find this uh, any contentment of the heart in one thing and one thing only and that is the remembrance of allah subhanallah uh, safa number 23 and then they write what that imam mujahid who was a student of sayyidina abdullah ibn abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala and huma they say what qala bi muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ashabihi da zikrullah ka murad kya hai is ayat mein surah ar ra'd verse number 28 they said that the purpose and the meaning of zikrullah is what zikr e mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhanallah zikr e mustafa mazani aa rahi hai zikr e mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam the remembrance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality is the remembrance of allah ha huh? aur thori ji wazahat is not just the remembrance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but also the remembrance of the companions of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ahl sunnat ka hai behra par ashab e huzur najm hai aur naur hai itrat rasulullah ki ha huh? today we talk about identity and amongst the youth this identity crisis that we as youngsters don't know who we are understand and know that we are ahl sunnati wal jamaa ha huh? Allah Almighty has given you me daulat e iman and Allah Almighty has given you me sahih al aqida what is the correct belief the correct belief is what that in our heart should be the love and the honor of the ahlul bayt at har and in our heart should be the love and the honor of the noble companions of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam aur ye bhi yaad rakho to chango that we love and honor them why because of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gal sari sarkar di hai gal sari ha gal sari sarkar thi everything is for and everything is about rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what was i saying to praise the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality is to praise allah to remember the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality is to remember allah ye quran ka na chor hai to honor the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality is to honor allah to obey the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality is to obey allah isn't this what allah says in the quran surah an nisa surah number 4 verse number 80 man yuti ar rasul faqad ata allah subhanallah listen to the translation apna iman taza karo aur aqeeda pukhta karo allah himself says in the quran that whosoever obeys the messenger in reality has obeyed allah subhanallah ni maza aa raha hai yaar allahu akbar whosoever obeys the messenger subhanallah darasal in haqeeqat in reality that person has 
obeyed Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. Meaning what? Allah Almighty has placed His obedience with the obedience of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Obey Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala and obey the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Like this, the one who loves the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in reality loves Allah Almighty Jalla wa Ala. Yehi Surah Tu Tawbah mein hai, verse number twenty-four. Huh? Yani tawil ayat hai na? Huh? The call in kana aba ukum wa abna ukum. Like in towards the end, what, what does Allah Almighty say? Ahabba ilaykum min Allah wa Rasulihi wa jihad fi sabilihi fatarabbasu hatta yati Allahu bi amrihi. Allah Almighty places His love. With the love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So today those people who say, Oh, you remember the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam too much. Huh? You praise him too much. Reality is what? We don't remember him enough. We don't praise him enough. This is why Isi Kitab Me, huh? they mention the Mashur Rivayat, Safa number 20, that on one occasion, Jibreel Alayhi Salam came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Gone. Bolo yaar. Sayyudul Malaika. Hmm? Jibar meaning uh, slave. Il is the Hebrew word for Allah. God. Uh, Jibreel in his terms of his name means servant of God. Slave of God. Uh, Sayyudul Malaika. Uh, what can to do? Vazahat upon this. I think we only have till about uh, 10 to 9. 9 o'clock is Isha. Yes. 20. 20? 20. 9.20. 9.20 is Isha. Oh, that means Imam Sir, you carry on. Huh? Thank you very much. Huh? Allahu Akbar. So, Sayyidul Malaika Jibra'il alayhi salam. Acha, ye vi sawal hai. And this time I'm not going to get my 20 out. Huh? How many times huh? did uh, Jibra'il alayhi salam come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam? Hamza mentioned, Adi sahab, you've mashallah, uh, anti-climax. Thank you very much. You spoiled the surprise. Huh? <laughs> Hamza was saying when we met in the office, Imam sahab, I've listened to a few of your talks on YouTube. Uh, and we often mention this uh, in most of our bayanat, uh, by way of educating our youngsters. Come as come, you should know how many times Jibreel came to the Prophet Sallallahu And Haji Sahib Kibla, Alhamdulillah, have hit the nail on the head as they say. Alama Yusuf bin Ismail and Nabhani mentioned this in the Al Anwarul Muhammadiyah, Min Al Mawahib al Dunya. Hazrat quoted Imam Kastalani, who wrote the book. Uh, then Alama Yusuf bin Ismail and Nabhani, who is referred to as the Ala Hazrat of the East. They write in that book, quoting Ibn Adil, fi tafsirihi, that Ibn Adil mentions in his commentary of the Quran, that Jibreel al-Islam ka ana jana 24,000 times. 24? Yeah, if you could repeat it, then you'll remember it. 24. There are 6,236 verses in the Quran, according to one formula of counting. 6,200 36, 6236, 6236. Huh? So if you do the maths, let's say for the purpose of discussion, every verse was revealed huh? individually, though we know that's not the case. Like if for the purpose of discussion, huh? every verse was revealed individually, you're still left with what? 24,000 huh? minus 6236, you're left with 17,764. So then the question is what? Uh, that what was the purpose of his coming and going? Morocco ki baat ho rahi na? Another great scholar from them blessed lands, Sheikh Abdul Aziz Ad Dabbagh, rahimahullah taala. They write in the Al Ibri Sharif. Allah Hazrat, whatever they quote this in the Fatawa is via this book, they always say Al Ibri Sharif. Uh, they say, what's the purpose of the creation of Jibrail al Islam? Tawajjud se suno apna iman taza karo. Uh, very simple Arabic, I'll translate as well. They said the purpose of the creation of Jibreel is Huwa Khadimu Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Huwa Khadimu Rasulillahi. Meaning what? He is the Khadim, the servant, and the Ghulam of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. Uh, and on one of them occasions, Dhikr ki baat hoi na? Dhikr ki baat. On one of them occasions, Atani Jibrilu alayhi salamu faqala inna rabbi wa rabbaka yaqool tadri kayfa rafa'tu zikraka. The Jibreel came to the Prophet 
And Jibreel Islam has said that my Lord and your Lord has told me to ask you that O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do you know how it is that Allah has raised your remembrance? Do you know how it is that Allah Almighty has raised your remembrance? Nabi Islam out of his humility says what? Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam that Allah and his messenger know best. Huh? And here Rasul ka murad Jibreel alayhi salam uh, to which then Jibreel al Islam said, What? That Allah Almighty has told me to tell you, Ida dhukirtu dhukirta ma'i. Uh, that how is it that the Prophet Sallallahu remembrance uh, is yani, uh, made, uh, Allah Almighty says, uh, through Jibreel al Islam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that when I am remembered, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you are remembered with me as well. Subhanallah. So the next page, what do they say? Ja'altu tamam al-imani bi dhikrika ma'i. That here Ibn Atta says what? Huh? That uh, Allah Almighty Jalla wa ala in reality has completed iman with the remembrance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Huh? That you can't have la ilaha illallah jab tak you don't say Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. The Azan is not complete Jab tak you don't mention and remember the Prophet Iqama is not complete Jab tak you don't mention and remember the Prophet Khutbah is not complete Jab tak you don't mention and remember the Prophet Isi tarikhe se Salah is not complete Jab tak you don't mention and remember the Prophet And as I've just alluded to Kalima is not complete Jab tak you don't mention and remember the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You remember him too much we don't even scratch the <laughs> Hazrat Wala Kibla Iman yeah, in the first rakat of Salatul Maghrib recited Surah Al Inshira. Famous verse. Wa rafa'na laka dhikrak. This ka ma'na and tarjama is what? Everyone knows. We have raised. Ma'ad bihi, na? We have raised for you your remembrance. Allah is saying this. We have raised for you. And we here, some people misunderstand. When Allah Almighty says, we in the Quran, ilmi nukta hai. Allah Almighty is talking about his sifat. Huh? Sifatullah. The attributes of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. Huh? This isn't the royal we. This is referring to the sifat of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. We have raised for you your remembrance. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Huh? From taqliq Adam. Uh, on the day of Qiyamah uh, Everything is for Everything is about Rasulullah uh, And on the day of judgment That day which will be 50,000 years long uh, Surah number 70 verse number 4 On that day uh, Nafsi nafsi ka alam. But ulama say what? And that day is all about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Celebration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So those who can't stand his remembrance today, uh, and those who are quick to load, upload their uh, any, uh, videos on TikTok, uh, and their reels on Facebook, and their shorts on YouTube, uh, and their clips on Instagram. Now where are you going to go on that day? Uh, where are you going to go on that day? Uh, yes, so he Muslim Sharif, huh? that everyone will go to Adam al Islam. Oh, Adam, ask Allah Almighty Jalla wa Allah to begin the Hisab. Lastulaha. Adam will say, I am not for this. Idhabu ila ghairi. Go to the next prophet. Like this, huh? Mm. We'll go to Ibrahim al Islam. We'll go to Musa al Islam. We'll go to Isa al Islam. Mukhtalif Rivayat mentioned Mukhtalif Ambiyai wal Mursaleen. Ikhtisar ke saat. And then eventually, when we get to Isa, all of them will say, Lastulaha. I am not for this. Idhabu ila ghairi. Go to the next messenger. Go to the next prophet. Till eventually we'll get to Isa alayhi salam. Oh Isa, ask Allah Almighty to begin the hisab. Lastulaha. I am not for this. Go to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu Go to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu And then all of Kainat. With the Anbiya, all of the Umam, with the Prophets, will go to the court of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Dunya mein, we need the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Qabr mein, we need the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or Qiyamat ne din par, no doubt, we need the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is why build your connection with him now. In a day and age where our youngsters are more concerned about their 4G and 5G connection. Yehi baat hai na? 
Uh, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, Wi-Fi goes off and everybody goes into a state of panic. Uh, Dad, have you not paid the Wi-Fi bill? Uh, but what about our connection with Rasulullah? He supplies them. Lajba al-Nabi Karim Rasul, who when he came into this dunya, Mu'tabar uh, Qutub, this is mentioned, Qutub al-Sira, when he came into this dunya, and no doubt his birth, unique and miraculous. Uh, one of the first things that he did was he went into sajda. He praised Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. After praising Allah, he says, Ummati, Ummati. Ya Rasulullah. Zindabad. Ummati, Ummati. And then throughout his blessed life, Ummati, Ummati. On the night of Mi'raj, Ummati. Isi kutub mein, isi kitab mein shrai se. To turn to that page as well. Even in the presence of the Anbiya, in Al Masjid Al Aqsa, he didn't forget you and me. In the court of Allah Almighty, he didn't forget you and me. Al Batta, when he left this, this Zahri Parda from this dunya, tu zinda hai wallah. Tu zinda hai wallah. Mere chashme alam se chup jane wale. Lekin usi kitab me Alama Yusuf bin Ismail Nabhani's work. Uh, al al They mention what? The Nabi Islam's Ghusl Mubarak had been performed, led by Mawlai Kainat, Mushkil Kusha, Shere Huda, Sayyiduna, Ali Murtaza Karram Allahu Ta'ala, Wajhul Kareem. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas is the Ravi. They said the Ghusl Mubarak of Nabi Islam had been performed, but the blessed lips of the Prophet was still moving. Yes, Sunni Sunaivi Galni, these eyes have read the same Ibarat. Uh, in that book, the, uh, the Ibarat, the text in that book. Uh, and then when uh, the, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's blessed lips were moving, uh, Sahaba says, Abdullah ibn Abbas says, we went close to hear Allah. what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying. And even at that point, he is saying, Ummati, Ummati. Allah. Huh? Allah. And then today, no doubt, alive uh, in uh, his blessed grave under the Gumba de Khazra Sharif. Hafiz ibn Kathir mentioned this rewaid uh, in the Al Bidaya wa Nihaya. Imam Al Tabarani do not of this rewaid. And you will find this narration in numerous and countless books of Ahadith al Mubarka. Hayati Khaydul Lakum wa Mamati Khaydul Lakum. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, My living is good for you. And my leaving this dunya is also good for you. Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, we know that when you are alive, no doubt you are amongst us. Huh? You educators, you guiders, you teachers, so on and so forth. But when you leave this dunya, how will this be good for us? Qurban uh, Jaun, the Prophet ﷺ said what? Uh, that when I leave this dunya, your a'mal, your deeds will be presented to me. Your a'mal and your deeds will be presented to me. Your a'mal and your deeds will be presented to me. Agli gal suno, apna iman taza karo. When I see my ummati doing good, I do shukr to Allah Almighty. Uh, the discussion started with shukr, right? Become people who are grateful to Allah. Become shakirin. Allahumma j'alna min shakirin. Be grateful for every blessing, every favor of the of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. And there is no doubt that the greatest favor, the greatest blessing, what we refer to as ni'matul uzma, what we refer to as ni'matul kubra, is no doubt Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Oh, your Quran hai yaar. Ji, ki talik hai ji. And who do they ask? Taxi driver. I don't know if you have taxi driver here. Yeah, no. uh, Uber drivers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Uber, Uber in yeah, Holland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, if it's not yeah, taxi... Huh? Ah, sorry. Yeah, I have nothing against any taxi driver. <laughs> My father was a taxi driver for 20 years. Allah raises the rajat in the akhirah. Yeah. Huh? Achai, then who do they ask? Takeaway worker. Yeah. Who do they ask? People on social media. The Quran says what? Fas'alu ahla dhikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. Surah Al-Anbiya, Surah number 21, verse number 7. Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. If you do not know. So Quran giving you and me hukam, ask the people of knowledge. But today, because of the day and age that we live in, age of distraction, social media ka door, electronic media ka door, unfortunately everything is at our fingertips and because our foundations are not firm our bunyad is weak our children our youngsters third generation fourth generation be it in the united kingdom be it here in holland uh, they become very easily misled uh, and because we don't have the dalail to our da'wa our da'wa is what even though they're the claimant they say what Mila sharif is haram 
اور البینہ تو عن المدعی the onus is upon the claimant لیکن چلو we say that commemorating the blessed birth of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم this is not only permissible جائز not only مستحب but also praiseworthy as well for this you will receive عجر و جزا from Allah Almighty جل و عالی and if you ask me where is this mention I will say that this is mentioned in the book of Allah this is mentioned in the احادیث مبارک of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم this is mentioned amongst the اجماع of the علماء of the اہل سنتی والجماع over 200 scholars of the high this level and caliber all of them have said what that celebrating the birth of the prophet ﷺ again is not only permissible jaiz but is also praiseworthy as well inshallah will commemorate the blessed birth of the prophet imam jalaluddin suyuti just one of them great scholars or imam suyuti con رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سبعين مرة إمام سيوتي says what مجدد في الدور الزمانة left this دنيا in year 911 after هجرة this is that إمام جلال الدين سيوتي who wrote 737 books two تفسيرات of the Quran wrote in every single علوم زهرية of the deen of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم إمام سيوتي says what I saw the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم 70 times in a wakeful state اور آج کال کے ٹک ٹاک کے مولویاں کی گنہ سنا جو امام سیوتی نکال سنا یار امام سیوتی کہاں اور آج کال کا بدت اور شرک کہنے والا کہاں یار امام سیوتی یار کوئی عام شخصیت ہے نہیں نا امام سیوتی he says that if I had any issue any مسئلہ I would ask the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم directly two تفسیرز of the Quran he wrote and they have a book called الہاوی للفتاوہ یہ یہ نظرت الحاوی للفتاوہ دیسے وات دیسے کہ دیسے کہ سنگل موس گریٹس بلسنگ نعمہ آف اللہ المائیٹی جل و علا اپن ہز کریئیشن اس دا ولادت باسعادت آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس بکوز آف اس بلسد بیرس وی ہاو لیلت القدر اس بکوز آف اس بلسد بیرس وی ہاو شب براعت اس بکوز آف اس بلسد بیرس as Hazrat alluded to we have the Quran it's because of his blessed birth we have the five daily prayers it's because of his blessed birth we have fasting in Ramadan it's because of his blessed birth we have zakat and sadaqat because of his birth we have umrah and hajj because of his birth we know what is halal and haram because of his birth we have the Quran because of his birth we have Rahman you might say it's just bad kid you are you're just fresh off the again in a aeroplane and you come direct from the airport your adrenaline must be rushing imam sir no it's not just bad kid you may need yeah iman kid you may have yeah iman kid you may have pucho yeah quran says what look at man allah who are the most meaning is by the fee him rasul and Allahu Akbar, Surah number 3, verse number 164, the single most greatest favor, ni'mah of Allah Almighty upon his creation, is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So why shouldn't we remember him? Why shouldn't we praise him? Why shouldn't we follow his way and follow his sunnah? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is everything for a true believer. اچھا اگلے بھی سے آجی یار وی لف دا پروفیس اللہ علیہ وسلم اچھا if you love him then قرآن says what وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ دیکھو نا if I love شہید بھائی اور شفی بھائی ماشاءاللہ and یہ تو ہمارا دستور ہے نا یہ ہماری عادت ہے that we'll keep that love to our selves but قرآن says what that when you acknowledge a favor of Allah when you love one of the blessings and one of the bounties of Allah Almighty what should you do? خوب چرچا کرو پرکلیم ایٹ اناؤنس ایٹ تیل دی پیپل and isn't this the case today that if حضرت is blessed with a son or daughter if I'm blessed with a son or daughter you're blessed with a son and daughter then alhamdulillah we'll tell the whole world یہ وہی ہے نا آج کال world ہی ہے نا global village ہے نا Allah has blessed me with a son, yaar. Allah has blessed me with a daughter. That very same son, that very same daughter graduates from the university. That very same son, very same daughter passes the theory exam, practical exam in driving. And that very same son, that very same daughter gets married. Don't we express our happiness in many different ways? So there it is fine. But when it comes to the Prophet then you want proofs, evidences, dalail. یہ عجیب بات ہے یار 
And you want proof to remember the Prophet sallallahu You want evidences to remember the Prophet sallallahu And then so many might say, yeah, the first boy, but just jumle ke jumle aise hai, just baat ke jumle. This is why I recited the verse uh, in the khutbah from Surah Al-Hijr. Allah Almighty Jalla wa Ala says what? La amruka. If somebody says, where is the Mawlid mentioned in the Quran? Huh? This is where it's mentioned. La amruka inna hum la fi sakrati him yamahuna. Allah Almighty says what? I pick an oath by your life. Subhanallah. Huh? Allah Almighty is talking to who? Dameer, Mukhatab to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Almighty is saying to the Prophet, Laam qasmi qasm ke liye na harful qasm. Allah Almighty is saying what? That I pick an oath by your life. Subhanallah. Acha likhne wali ne ittafaq ahlu tafsiri fi hadha annahu qasm min Allah jalla jalaluhu. Bimuddati Hayati Muhammadin Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. This is a very important point. And you can tell it, you can tell it. Acha? Allah Almighty Jalla Wa'ala picks an oath by yani consensus of Ahlul Tafsir. Mufassirun have ittifaq upon this. That Allah Almighty takes an oath by the complete and entire life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. Young man tell me, does the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam start from the age of 40 or from his birth? تو جرے کہنے نہیں 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 صرف سیرت بیان کرو نہیں یار صرف سیرت نہیں بیان کرنا ساتھ ساتھ ولادت بھی بیان کرنا ہے whenever you pick up a book of سیرہ does the story of the prophet life of the prophet biography of the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم start from the age of 40 or does it start from birth البتہ those who have written books on the سیرہ شیخ عبدالحق محدیس دیلی مدارج النبوہ they start from before the ولادت با سعادت of the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یعنی from آدم علیہ السلام why? Because everything was in anticipation for the arrival of the chosen one. Allah huh? Akbar walillah alhamdi yaar. Of regli baat. That they said that here. Wa hadihi nihayatul ta'zimi wa ghayatul birri wa tashrif. That this verse shows. Which verse? Suratul Hijar. Surah number 15. Verse number 72. This verse shows the greatness uh, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commands. That no doubt he is worthy of respect and extreme honor. <laughs> honor and respect. Ta'zim. Uh, tashrif. Uh, Allahu Akbar. So when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes... Honor him, respect him, revere him. Or yeh zindagi ka maksad hai na? That you don't look for faults in him. You don't look for dala'il. You don't look for proofs and evidences. You say, bas, everything is for and everything is about Rasulullah. Mr. Iqbal says what? Kalandar al-Lahori, Musabar al-Pakistan, Darvesh Isyal Koti. He says what? Dayar al-Ishq mein apna maqam paida kar. Dayar al-Ishq mein apna maqam paida kar. Drown yourselves in the ocean of the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You might say he's jumped from ta'zeem to mahabba. Understand and know love and honor go hand in hand. Love and honor go hand in hand. When you truly love him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then no doubt you'll uphold his honor and respect. And when you uphold his honor and his respect, this is a sign that you truly love him. Allahu Akbar. Dayare ishq mein apna maqam paida kar. Naya zamana, naya ho subh ho shaam paida kar. Bas. This is it. This is it. Un jazakallah ya. This means thank you very much, Imam Sahib. I know. Save huh? something for tomorrow. Oh, no, no. This is just a warm-up act. This is just a warm-up act. Acha ye chalo. Khulasa pesh karne ya. What do you take away with you? Yes, apart from a full belly. Huh? Number one, we said what? Be grateful for every bounty and blessing and favor of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala. And no doubt the greatest blessing, the greatest favor of Allah Almighty Jalla wa'ala upon you and me is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ye pehli baat hai. Huh? So what did we say? What was the verse from Surah Ibrahim? La in shakartum la azidan nakum. Yani link it with what we've been saying. Huh? Though we've been going through different channels, now I'm giving you the yani full uh, scenario and uh, kind of synopsis, huh? overview, khulasa, conclusion. That if you are grateful for the favors of Allah, Allah will shower more bounties upon you. If you're grateful for the eyes that he has given you and the ears that he has given you and the digestive system that is given you and the roof of uh, your heads and the clean water that we drink and the food, all of these bounties and favors we are grateful for, then he increases his bounties and favors upon us. Then what if we spend our days and our nights thanking Allah Almighty for the greatest favor, for the greatest blessing? 
no doubt. Uh, and then Allah Almighty's bounties and favors uh, will have no limits and no bounds. Uh, this was the first key point. Number two, we said what? Uh, that everything is for and everything is about such that Allah Almighty has placed his remembrance with the remembrance of the Prophet Allah Almighty has placed obedience to him with the obedience of Rasul. And I gave you a few examples. Like Hazrat said, Imam Sahib, chalo, keep some reserve. Huh? <laughs> You've got three days here, four days here. You know whether you give all of your, what do you call it? Yani uh, khazain and uh, your pearls of knowledge. Nahi, koi baat nahi, yaar. Puri kitab hai mere paas. Uh, when I came to passport control, uh, Shahid Bhai was waiting for me patiently. Huh? Uh, or in nama sabru in the in the sadmatil ula in nama sabru in the sadmatil ula sahih muslim sharif ke alfaz nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said patience is at the beginning of the tribulation uh, so he was there i think from five o'clock i didn't get out till quarter to six uh, and one of the reasons was the guy at passport control he goes why are you here i said religious reasons he goes what is this book i go this is the book of the praise of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by allah masjid hai yaar Achha? Thank you very much. Uh, stamp, <laughs> go. Mashallah. Wow. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Everything is for and everything is about Rasul. Dil hai wo dil. Jo teri yaad se mamur raha. Dil hai wo dil. Jo teri yaad se mamur raha. Sar hai wo sar jo tere kadmo pe kurban hua. Bas yaar. My youngsters in particular. Hmm? We're distracted in the day and age that we live in. Uh, these tablets and devices and uh, smartphones and uh, Netflix and Disney Plus and Paramount. Uh, same problems here as we have in the UK. Uh, though I've been told that uh, you don't have much problems in terms of drugs and helium balloons and gang crime and knife crime like we have in the UK. Shafi Bai has just come from Manchester, right? Uh, and he was telling me upstairs, I, love, I like the UK, Imam Sahib. Uh, I won't ask him why, but there are many reasons not to like the UK at this moment in time. And not just UK, around the world. Uh, this is why my dear brothers, youngsters, sisters who are listening uh, on social media, uh, refocus yourselves, uh, realign yourselves, uh, redirect yourselves. And our destination should be only one. And that is Al-Madinatul Munawwara. By Allah. And if you don't understand and appreciate this now, then Qabr ki pehli sham or Qiyamat ka pehla subh. Allah. The first night of the grave and the first day of the day of judgment. Ah. Then you will say, Kaash, if only we listen, listen to Allah Sahib. Kaash, if only we listen to our ulama, Hakka. But by then it's too late. unki pana. Aaj madad mang unse. Phir na manenge. Agar qiyamat mein maan gaya. Or tisri kya point si? Third key point was what? That Allah Almighty takes an oath by the entire life of the Prophet Sallallahu Yes, and Hazrat again, uh, yani I didn't understand fully, but I think he was alluding to the narration in Jami of Tulimizi Shif, is par akhri, yani ikhtitam hai, uh, that Nabi Salaatu Islam was asked what? Ki aajkal ye bhi shararat hai, deviants will very subtly try to misguide our youngsters, and we lend our ears to these deviants, I've already alluded to this, if your foundations are not firm and strong, then you shouldn't be lending your ears to anyone except the ulama of the ahli sunnah wal jama you might say what's the criteria how do we know if somebody is right i will say it's very simple if that person speaks about the prophet in the most respectful way in the most honorable way and not just the prophet his noble companions and his family members then know he is an ali medin to take your knowledge from but if there is any shortcoming in any of these three aspects the prophet his ashab and his al then it's very simple move away Huh? Move away. And today, sh shararat, hai na? deception. Inna hu lakum adubu mubin. Shaitan sari am dushman. Shaitan not just by way of yuasfi sufi sudurin nas. Shaitan who comes in the form of humans as well. Trying to deviate you and me. And this is the greatest deviance. And the greatest bid'ah. Where somebody says, oh, huh? you guys praise the Prophet sallallahu too much. Huh? This inshallah we will expand upon tomorrow. And how the Sahaba loved the Prophet Sallallahu How the Sahaba removed the heads of their own father. Hazrat Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah radiyallahu ta'ala. Ta Aaj kal is tariqe na baat koro to oh, imam sabar daden ji. Imam sabar sakhtan ji. So you won't mention these vaqiyat of the Sahaba. Chun chun ke you mention these vaqiyat that suit your own agenda. Understand and know everything is for and everything is about. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa This is the one statement you take away with you. Huh? Hashtag. Huh? Hashtag me in if you want. Yes. 
everything is for and everything is about Rasulullah. And I was going to end on this. I know Salatul Isha. Ye Baqaida Akhribat. Jami Utir Mizi Sharif Kiribai. Nabi Salatu Islam was asked by the Sahaba. Mata wajabat lakan nubuwa. That when was prophethood decreed for you, O Prophet of Allah? Jawab me sabak hai. Kuntu nabiyan wa adamu bain ruhi wal jasad. Sahih ribayat hai. Jami Utir Mizi Sharif. Mamuli kitab ta nina. After Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, some ulama said, Jami Utir Mizi Sharif is the most authentic book of Hadith Sharif. Kutub al-Sitta me. Nabi Salaatu Islam said what? I was a prophet of Allah when Adam was between spirit and body. When Adam was between spirit and and whilst I was sat there, Galna te nina mukniya. Yes, Safa number 112. Hai, 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 hai. Nabi Salaatu Islam himself said what? Inni Abdullah. Inni Abdullah wa khatamu al-Nabiyyin. Rivaayet hai, yaar. Kheh, te koi abandha hai ne kolu gala, yaar. Kitab saamne hai. Nabi Salaatu Islam himself said, page number 112, Shifa Sharif. Nabi Salaatu Islam said, indeed, I am the servant of Allah. And I am the seal of the prophets. I am the seal of the Nimazari. I am the seal of the Wa inna Adam ki baat ho rhi Wa inna Adam la mun jadilun fi tinatihi And Nabi Salatu Islam said what? Indeed Adam al-Islam When he was cast into Yani tin When he was made out of soil When he was made out of Adam means soil Adam means earth Then what? Then Nabi Salatu Islam said Did you say that? Nabi Salatu Islam ki tell you Ji Ame chay na na Sir Tuchango. They say what? That Wa'idtu Abi Ibrahim Wa Bisharatu Isa Bani Maryam That I am the promise of my father Ibrahim And I am the glad tiding Basharat That Isa gave to his people Where we've left here This is where we will carry I don't know where I don't know when Inshallah Azza wa Jal I hope to see you there Wa ma'alayna illa al-balaghul mubi Naray Tikbi Allahu Akbar نعرہ رسالت اب کھڑے ہو کر کے محبت سے صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا نظرانہ پیش کریں مصطفیٰ جانے رحم